Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Bharat Forge, a subsidiary of Kalyani Group, has gained huge reputation with the development of almost all kind of artillery system and ATAX being the famous of all. The success of Bharat Forge is an exemplary example of what private firms are able to achieve. Recently, we have also made video on Maheswarast rockets and Naga's slaughtering munition by Solar Industries. This firm is emerging in the area of missiles and rocket development. In today's video, we are going to talk about very important and futuristic development in the field of submarines. We have already discussed about the challenges we are facing with our Project 25i. One of the major reasons for that is Navy's requirement of an operational AIP system. However, in my opinion, AIP is just an overrated system and why I am saying this will become crystal clear to you at the end of this video. However, before that, let's talk about the update which motivated us to make this video. As per latest update, Bharat Forge has collaborated with American tech giant General Atomics for the development of lithium ion battery which will power the submarines of Indian Navy. This requirement has come from Navy and at the back of which Bharat Forge has initiated this development. As per reports, lithium ion battery will be installed on Kilo and Calvary class submarines under operation by Indian Navy. Once the lithium-ion battery is installed, no submarine, even with full cell-based AIP, will be able to match up with the endurance and stealth of these submarines fitted with lithium-ion battery. Now, since I have boasted a lot about lithium-ion capability, you might be getting curious to know how lithium-ion battery is superior to an AIP system. So let's discuss that. The term AIP is highly misunderstood, and I think the naming of the system is wrong at first place. There is nothing like air-independent propulsion except for nuclear-powered submarines. Even with AIP system, the submarines will have to come onto surface to regenerate itself. The AIP submarines cannot stay hidden forever. It must eventually go somewhere safely to recharge and reload fuel and oxygen. A diesel-electric submarine has to recharge its battery by coming onto surface or using snorkel and runs on battery when submerged. A diesel-electric submarine running on batteries can run for many hours at slow speed or drain the battery flat in a few minutes at a flank speed. An AIP system provides a small tickle charge constantly to top up the batteries. However, it is not enough to fully charge it up like the diesel engines. It only slows down the battery drain. With AIP fitted submarine, the charge in battery can last up to several days or week when compared to non AIP based submarines where charge lasts only for 15 to 20 hours. To better understand this, let us consider a situation where submarine's battery is fully charged and can quietly stay on battery for 24 hours before draining flat if submarine is moving at a speed of around 3 to 5 knots. In this scenario, the discharge rate of submarine will be 100% divided by 24, that is 4.2% discharge rate per hour. If the submarine were to go at flank speed, the discharge rate would jump from 4.2% to 200% and the full charge battery would be dead in just 30 minutes. Now let's add AIP system to submarines. The AIP starts charging submarine at a rate of about 3% per hour. So on a petrol speed or at slow speed, the battery is going to drain away but this time the rate of drain will be 1.2% that is 4.2% minus 3% per hour. The AIP adds 3% for every 4.2% use. Now rather than running on battery for 24 hours, the submarine can remain on battery for a little over 80 hours or more than 3 days rather than just one day. But again, if submarine were to go at flank speed, the battery drain would jump to 197%, that is 200% minus 3%, 3% is the charge added by AIP system and the entire battery is still going to be drained in about 30 minutes. Therefore, AIP system is of little to no use while the submarine is running at flank speed or you can say at higher speed. For over 100 years, conventional submarines have been using lead acid batteries for underwater propulsion. The another type of battery is high capacity lithium ion battery. The lithium ion batteries improve the underwater endurance of submarine. These batteries have inherent advantages over lead acid batteries such as high power density, lighter weight, 
and lower maintenance cost because you don't need gas charging or water filling. The lithium ion battery output remains constant even when the charge runs low. You would have witnessed this phenomenon in mobile phones which uses lithium ion batteries. They are much lighter than lead acid batteries and can be charged exceptionally faster. They can store much more energy when compared to the AIP system. It also simplifies the overall submarine's propulsion system design which will be less complex and bulky. The lithium ion batteries can provide large output on demand allowing the submarine to flank faster when needed. In short, a submarine with lithium ion batteries has greater underwater endurance and can run faster than a submarine with lead acid batteries. At present, Japan is the only country which has an operational submarine powered by lithium ion battery and South Korea has also started development of this technology and is at very advanced stage of them. Back in 2020, Navy has released an RFI for indigenous development of 500 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery for its submarine which can also be scaled up to 5 megawatt per hour. Navy is planning to replace the traditional lead acid batteries with lithium ion batteries, which is a very awesome news. As per latest update, Indian Navy has selected a vendor for development of lithium ion battery and looking at the Bharat Forge and General Atomics collaboration, it seems that the vendor might be or may be Bharat Forge. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.